Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is a chi-squared problem. Let me read it. It's a goodness of fit test. Is there enough evidence that consumers have a preference in cola soda flavors? Using the data shown in the table below. Let alpha equal 0 0.05. So pause the video and see if you can try to do this one on your own. All right, step number one is you want to state the hypotheses. So the first one is, or the null hypothesis, is there is no preference is no preference. And here it would be in cola soda flavors. The alternative hypothesis is the opposite. The opposite that there is no preference is there is a preference. Now also, you would want to state where your claim's at. You look at this, is there enough evidence that consumers have a preference? So the claim would be the alternative hypothesis. All right, step number two is you want to find your critical region or your rejection region chi squared kind of looks like that. You need your alpha, which is 0 0.05. You also need your degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom here would be n minus 1, so it would be 5 minus 1, which is 4. Now you're going to need a table for this, so use your table. Degrees of freedom is four, I know it's a little hard to see. And then your alpha is 0 0.05, which is on top. See where the two line up, which is 9.488. 9.488. So that's my rejection region. So step number two, or sorry, step number three, I'll write that up here. Step number three is I've defined my chi-squared, right? This is a chi-squared test. I use the chi-squared table. So you wanna use chi-squared here to find your chi-squared. It's a summation of the observed minus the expected squared over expected. Now, what's your expected here? Your expected is, okay, if there is no preference. If there is no preference, then all of these are going to be the same. Now, if I add these up, this is 50, uh, you have 31 over here, this is 50 again, so this is a total of 100. And there's five flavors. So since there's five, you're gonna assume that's an equal amount. Just take 100, divide it by five, and you get 20. So each of these would be 20. So the expected value for each one, I put an E here, for expected, is 20. So you find your chi-squared. So it's the observed, 26 minus 20 squared, divided by the expected, which is 20, plus, right, summation, so that means you're adding all these together, 24 minus 20, squared over 20 plus 
19 minus 20 squared over 20 plus 15 minus 20 squared over 20 plus 16 minus 20 squared over 20 equals. Now I'm going to type this whole thing into my calculator. So to do, you know, just keep this in parentheses. So it's parentheses 26 minus 20, close parentheses squared, divided by 20, plus parentheses 24 minus 20 squared, divided by 20, plus parentheses 19 minus 20 parentheses squared divided by 20 plus parentheses 15 minus 20 squared divided by 20 plus parentheses 16 minus 20 parentheses squared divided by 20 and I get 4.7 when I do that. So step number four uh, I'm gonna erase some of this. Hopefully you're keeping track. Uh, step four would mean to make a decision and 4.7 falls outside of the rejection region so you would not reject HO so do not reject HO so Step five, since you're not rejecting HO, that means you're accepting this and you're rejecting the claim. And here, since the claim is in the alternative hypothesis, you make it a reference to supporting it. So you're not supporting it. There is not enough evidence uh, to support the claim that, and you want to restate the claim, the claim is that there is, there is a preference. There is a preference in cola flavors.